Hey dollies, what's up? It's Dollar Fashionista and welcome to my channel. As you can see in my vlogs, I have been in both Yo and Hrabde and went to my BFF's house for like five days and it was so much fun. Like, especially Saturday, like a lot of things happened then, a lot of great things, you know. And I just loved it, but it's nice to be back at home. But the title does say you slash shrub the hall, not you slash shrub the story time. So let's get to it. My BFF Bella, uh, she bought something I really wanted so badly. It was a Bratz doll, my most wanted Bratz doll. And I was like, even this whole line, I just have to have that, like, and now three more to go, and that doll is Bratz first edition Sasha, like, I, when she was going to order, she promised me I was so happy, I, uh, it was real expensive, but, so it was, it's like a combination of late uh, birthday gift and early Christmas present if she only can give me one because of her I don't care I'd rather get her than two different things I don't really want as much as this one because she's my most wanted brassel and I'm so happy and grateful she rarely buy dolls or things from USA but she did this time and, and I'm, I didn't even force her I would never do this I'm super thankful and I have three more to go, so it's a bit of a relief. Yeah, she's like, at least for me, she's kind of probably the most hard, harder one to find, but... She did come with her full first outfit, but I just gave her now... That is, uh... Pioneer top and skirt. And her original cap and bunny like I have one too and golden platform shoes I love those shoes I love them on her like she's so fierce and hey her hair I love it it's not that pin straight but I can fix that later on but I love her and I did tell her she came with her full outfit so not the second outfit but she did come with a skirt, mini skirt that my flaunty Chloe has with this. I do have pics on my Instagram. Then she came with these sneakers and top. Like, it wasn't really the best outfit in my opinion, but it does look better in real life. And here is her bag. And then we have this Adventure Girl Sasha hairbrush that I got as a like Christmas New Year's present when she was here but I accidentally put it in her doll things uh, box so I got it, I managed to take it with me now so then we went to our friend Charlotte and um, she and she came with like a thing you know like, well, like, um, okay, I should like, here, uh, I realized it was a phone case, so, well, like, can I have it, like, oh, are you sure, so, well, it's like, I don't need it anyways, I was a bit unsure if it get really fit in my phone, iPhone 5, but it did, and here it is, like, a watermelon iPhone case, you know, it's pretty cute, though, it's pretty nice, this is how it looks with my phone, it's a bit broken, but I'm used to it, but yeah, that's how it looks. And I have Ulala Dana as my background shot. As a cartoon workshop. I have the doll. She's over there. Over there. And then we we went to shrub the first in a second hand store in Yo. And um, I want I found a sheer CD, but I didn't find it, so I got this pink CD. Uh Misunderstood Includes get the smash it get party started bonus track catch twin two enchanted section 
It does have a... So, it was 10 Swedish crowns for this. I want to buy something in you as a memory of you. I would have, but it was still nice to have something. Buy something that makes you think about it, but yeah. And then we went to Shrevde and we ha went to for a shopping spree. Had, had some nice things in here, so I'm gonna show you. Went and had Fika first, and then we went to two stores. No, three, like two in one, two stores in one building. But um, then we went to go to Myrna, but we didn't have time for it because I had to go to a train back to Stockholm, so but it's okay. You know, I wanted to see if they had bread salt, but at least there's Myrna in Stockholm, the second hand stores in Stockholm, and Myrna usually has brats pretty often anyway, so it's okay. It's not the end of the world. But first we went to Dollar Store. It says we love you dollar store mightly my mighty fine prizes every day www.dollarstore.se and they had Bella said they had brass dolls like in for example a self snaps clove and jade with this self stakes thing like more exclusive and she won uh, self so Jade, I won by her, but she got her before me, you know, and, you know, a little bit of a pity, but I prefer all, she was a new one, I prefer all the runs anyway, so, she does too, but she won this one, so, maybe she won it, pro I wouldn't be surprised if she won her more than I did, because I have other brass cells, I won even more, so, but I did got, she cost 200 Swedish crowns, and I got, some stuff a little bit cheaper, but it, not that it matter, but well, I got Project MC Square Dolls. I love them. 90 Swedish crowns for both of, for one of these. And, uh, and, there is, and one Swedish crown for this bag. So it's 189 Swedish crowns. Here we have Adrian Adams, played by Victoria Vida. Pretty brilliant. 90 Swedish crowns. So pretty. I love her. Don't you have her glasses? Oh, here. They Good. They're, they're, oh, don't say that I don't have stands, but whatever. And like, I love her. I love Victoria Vida. She's the sweetest girl in the world. You know, she said that she played Brussels with as when she was a little. She played with Brussels when she was a little. But now I said it twice. The first half said a little bit faster, so I want to make it more clear. But uh, I love this girl, and I love Victoria. I love her song "Shining Star," and we have been, we have have been talking to her a bit, and she's so sweet. And she gave my friend uh, Adrian Adams Project of Square Dolls because they didn't have them in Denmark where he lives. And not in Sweden either, but they do have now. And like, she's the sweetest girl in the world. Like, you can't do anything else. They just love her. I might take the hair band out of her because, you know, it's a little bit simple as and I think. Would be nice to style it and, you know. But, it's. This is how she looks. I love her. MJ dolls have great quality dolls. Not like Barbie, you know. They look feel really sloppy, you know, these days. And here we have my Asian girl, Cameron Coyle. Nailed it. You know, she's gorgeous. I love her. Here she looks, of course, Asian. I think she is, probably, but... Here she looks a bit more Caucasian. I wish she looked more Asian here too, because you know, I uh, prefer when adults embrace their like cultural ethnicities. You know, it makes them beautiful. You know, I love all culture dolls, but I don't care that much. You know, because she's gorgeous anyway. I love her. She's gorgeous. I love her hair. 
it looks messy, but it can it's fixable, you know. I love them. Credit to NJ for delivering great quality dolls, even though your brass aren't as good as they used to be. It's like they feel fake for themselves, you know, they're not brass anymore. But they still had the quality. Like Barbie, you know, they don't have uh, the quality and I believe all local companies can have gain that great quality on dolls again. They just better believe and make it work, so. Not like Fonche, but yeah. And then we have went to Toys R Us and I have something excited to show you. I didn't plant I bought a painting book for Charlotte, you know, uh, or a crafting book with Disney Princesses, but and I expect uh, something for myself, really, that I did. And it's Monster High Party Ghouls Venus McFletrap. I love her. She's just my favorite Monster High character with Kedri Noir. And she's my very, very first Monster High doll. But I also just I uh, should get her because I was very insecure, but she was like, you know, it's not... Yeah, always buy brats and I don't really find Monster High second hand that much, so I think you should go for it. And I will like, whatever, I'll just do it because she was so pretty, anyways. Like, she was gorgeous. I love her. It's nice to have something else than just brats, too, even though I love brats actually more than any other doll, but I love her. She's gorgeous. Her artwork, too. You know. She costed uh, 279 280 Swedish crowns and that Disney Princess crafting book 49 and and totally it was uh, 320 330 so yeah, I'm very happy with my haul, so um, I love it. I have. Just look at her.